What to watch on Netflix by the Red Sea Movie Guys. What's going on, guys? We got another like it or list it this week, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we've uh, we've missed a couple of weeks because we have been busy, busy, busy beavers. And I want to say appreciate everybody that's uh, liking the show and thinking we could do better. Appreciate that. I will say uh, this: <laughs> we can do better. I. Uh... <laughs> I know a lot of people that don't have cable. The more people I talk yeah. to don't have cable. They yeah. have yeah. Yeah, Netflix and Hulu yeah. and HBO on the go and stuff like yeah. that. They just yeah. pay for what they want to see and and that's it. I think that's stupid, but uh, I, I believe you, dude. I, I couldn't live without some TV. Yeah. But uh, okay. each their own. Well, HBO between Netflix and HBO Now or Go or whatever it's called. There's a lot. You spend a lot of hours just watching that. I gotta have sports, man. Yeah, man. Too. I gotta. All right. And I think I'm lazy. I am. No. Yeah. I got to turn Netflix on. Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It waits right. a minute. <laughs> this week we watched the new, or a couple of weeks ago we watched the new Do Over. It's called the Do Over with Adam mm -hmm. Sandler. Now, you guys know he's making four movies for Netflix. We watched Ridiculous Six, which I did not like. Uh, oh, didn't you should have watched it all. Because uh, that was some really funny part. I might have to go back. The do-over, and he's got two more coming out, but the do-over, I did enjoy. It was a, it reminded me of the kind of Waterboy days. It was that kind of funny humor. Especially the sex scene was really funny. With, with Guzman and David Spade. <laughs> yeah. I, I like David Spade. Yeah. I always uh -huh. have. Uh, I like his corny ways. Uh, I kind of like Paula Patton. Yeah. Kinda? kinda. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, I'm back. Yeah. I was using. Uh, <laughs> well, you know how much he likes her? He's going to watch. Uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's how much he likes I, I had no desire, and then Hope went, well, Paula Patton has body paint on. Like, well, I'm and she's got me watching that. You got two little things, like, right here. So let's just say... Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't don't think of the oral pleasure, because... <laughs> I'm thinking about getting bit. Might be your last one. <laughs> getting bit. She did it. So the do-over? The do-over. Yes. I thought it had some decent action. I did too. You know, the girl fight. There's a girl fight at the end that uh, I thought they did a really good job with, and Paula Patton was in it. The the, the deal with the with the fight, what what made it so good is it was all done in slow motion. Every bit of it. So it it's really good. You know, you see him hit the ground, and everything. The thing I did not understand about this movie is how Adam Sandler was such a badass with the gun. Never explains it. He makes up all these characters, but when it comes time to shoot, he can, he's a... After you said that the other day, I, I got to thinking about it, and for some reason, it made me, for some reason, I wanted to think it it let you know that he was CIA, but he wasn't in it because of the reason they're after this this cure. It went all the way to police school. He couldn't he Man. couldn't graduate police school because he couldn't pop a wheelie, and he rides that wheelie. There's where what I what you know when he made up all these things. Then maybe he's just a natural badass, but that's that, the one thing he couldn't do. I, I don't know. Well. <clears throat> but I like Adam Sandler. I like that corniness. Yeah. So I. I, I Do you like it? it? Are you list, list it? it? Yeah. Yeah. I'd list or list it. it or lose it. Yeah. I said like it or lose it. I would list it just because I like the raunchy humor. I like it was back to more of the Adam Sandler. I do like. Yeah. Not the horrible Jack and Jill Adam Sandler, but the, but the other. Where he make where he makes the funny, you know, where he's more off the wall. Yeah. I'm gonna but I'm gonna funny. like it. it. It brings me back to the. Like I said, the water boy days right. and, and the action was good. Uh, Why they didn't do a water boy too, I don't know. I don't know, that made a fortune. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know why you wouldn't. I'd put him in the NFL, make the water yeah. boy in the NFL. Bobby yeah, Boucher, so. he could play for the So who directed that? Did you look that up? Yeah, I did. Steven Brill. Well, if I can get it, tell me. 
There we go. Stephen Brill. He did this one, but he also did Walk of Shame, Movie Forty Three, Drill Bit Taylor, and then with Adam Sandler he did Without Mr. Paddle. Yeah, Mr. Deeds and uh, Little Mr. Nicky. Good Mr. Deeds, yeah. Mr. Deeds and Little Nicky to Adam Sandler. Little Nicky is one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies, and it's one that it bombed at the box office. Right. But it was always one of my favorites. I like Mr. Deeds. That was a good Mr. one. Mr. Deeds was and had uh, John Turturro in it, right? Yeah. Right. He was the, he was the, the butler foot or something. He had the, the yeah. horrible foot or something. Yeah. And, of course, I liked all the grown-ups, but that was just me. Uh, we are going to, we all liked it. So we all listed it. So put well, that in your list. It's almost like I list it, but keep in mind it's, because it's an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah, it's, you're not just. But for us, if you're taking it from us and you enjoy that kind of humor <laughs> and has that action, <laughs> you will like it. I don't know what we're gonna do next week, but I would like to see if somebody would tell us a movie they like or they listed in or lose it that we can watch. You know, for yeah. us to watch something that we could comment on. I so, will say, K Boy and them. I had made post about Netflix about what to watch and there's been some lists going around that's a little different. But I tell you what, I've been watching a few documentaries lately, just mm -hmm. bored. I've just had some free time and been watching some documentaries on crap that I wouldn't think I'd enjoy. You like them? And I enjoy them. Right. Steph's hooked on Bloodline, a series on Netflix. She's hooked on And y'all have already watched The Killing. She watched all that. Yeah. Uh, and she watched Luther, too, was a good one. With uh, Isra Elba, mm -hmm. or whatever his name is. You want to know I've been watching on Netflix? I got hooked on catching up with Game of Thrones on HBO Now, or Go, whichever one I got. So that's why I've been hooked on. But on Netflix, as I'm working at my desk, they've got all the seasons of Annie Griffith. I just let them play as I'm working. And you yeah. can't beat it. You, you... <laughs> Oh, I, it, yeah, it's, it's funny, that old stuff. Like, uh, I was looking for the Queen of the South. I think I'm going to record that and watch yeah. a couple episodes, see if I like it or not. See if yes, he's in it. And at 4.15 in the morning on AMC, the Three Stooges come on. And I think I'm going to start taping it. Oh, man. Classic. You can't, you can't beat you, those dudes. You, we, Hope said it the other day. There is nothing that you can't, there is so much content out there, you can never go, I don't know what to watch. There's nothing. I do that on. daily. There's nothing else. There's so much content, and you can't watch it all. <clears throat> yeah. There's no way you can be a fan of everything. When we were young, you had three channels. You yeah. could watch everything. Yeah. Right. And now there's so much content you cannot watch it all. All right. Uh -huh. The do over. List it. Till next week. I'm Russ. That's Chris, and that's Hope. Right here.